I often get asked what are my scariest travel moments, so I've decided to share with you my top three from visiting 161 countries. Please note that everything you are about to hear is 100% based off my own personal travel experiences and nothing more. Okay, my third scariest travel situation happened to me in Astana, Kazakhstan in 2017. So I was there in March, it was the coldest place I've ever felt and I didn't even have cold clothes with me because I was traveling around Southern Europe. No, but seriously, it's like 12 degrees Fahrenheit out here and it is freezing. And I had my camera with me and I was taking some photos of these monuments which looked beautiful to me at the time. And as I was taking a photo, this cop came up to me and he pointed and he said, you come here. And I was like, oh damn. So I walked over to him and he only spoke Russian and Kazakh, which I, I speak a little bit of Russian enough to kind of understand basic words. He asked me where my passport is and I said, I don't have my passport, it's at my hotel, which is just around the corner. And I was asking him if I could go retrieve the passport and he said, no, you come with me, we go in the cop car. And I was really scared. Kazakhstan is not a country that you want to go to a police station in. As I know it, he was taking me to the police station on the street and I was like shaking, I was so nervous. I thought I was gonna get in big trouble. And basically, long story short, I took out my wallet, I gave him 50 US dollars worth in local currency and he let me go, thankfully. It was really scary and I didn't know that I wasn't able to take photos or he was just being really, really strict. But regardless, now I am extra careful when I take photos in the former Soviet countries. My second scariest travel moment was in Chad in 2018, about six months ago. So I was in the capital of Jamena, Chad. I get there and I have a local buddy who is taking me around. He was actually a really cool guy. We jumped on a motorbike taxi in the middle of the city and he was riding ahead of me. So I was, I was quite far behind him. And all of a sudden, the police tries to pull over my motorbike driver and I was like, okay maybe this is normal and my driver kept speeding up and speeding up and all of a sudden we're caught in this police chase in downtown Jamana Chad cutting through dirt roads there's cars slamming on their brakes honking and I was holding on for dear life the police finally caught up to the driver he said show me your license and registration and apparently the driver had stolen the bike and he wasn't a taxi driver so the driver had nothing else to do but push the policeman all of a sudden it starts this giant brawl right in front of my eyes people from the street are like freaking out and they all run in so I duck out and I go into this mini shared taxi thing and I calm down and after about 20 minutes I'm finally calm and there was a really cute kid sitting next to me his parents were not in the taxi and so I just took a photo of him and the driver of the car slammed on the brakes pulled me over grabbed my shirt twisted it there was like a huge brawl that was happening and I had to really talk my way out of it this guy threatened to pull out a knife and it was a very scary situation admittedly I could have avoided it by not taking the photo but I've never been treated like that and I think it was really extreme what happened to me in Jemina Chad on that day. And finally, my scariest travel moment happened to me in India in February of 2015. I had been in India for three months at this point, backpacking solo on a really tight budget. And I was in the Rajasthan state, which is my favorite state in India. I was traveling overnight on a bus from Udaipur to Jodhpur. The bus departed at midnight. I was the only foreigner. It was a sleeper bus, so I was situated on the top bunk on the left side. And so we're about an hour into the journey and I'm starting to doze off. I'm laying down, I got my bags by my feet, my iPod earphones in. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the bus driver slams on the brakes, turns the wheel left all the way, and the bus flips over the freeway, completely flips over, all the windows shattered, everybody's screaming and crying, there's babies on board. At that moment, I checked my heart to see if it was still beating because I thought I had died. And I remember looking up through my fingertips and there were glass and dust everywhere and I put my hands up here and I remember seeing these guys feet and they were dangling ahead of me because he was holding onto the bar. It was the scariest moment of my life. We had to escape out the side which, is, which was the roof because all the windows were shattered. I actually had a bunch of glass stuck in my foot. I was wearing sandals and it, my foot was covered in blood and luckily the glass didn't hit my neck or didn't hit my, my face or anything like that. And so we have to get out of the bus and I have my bags with me and we go out the busted window and then I jump like 10 feet down and two people were stuck in the bus um, and they didn't make it out alive. And the reason I know that is because everybody was circled around and they kept doing this, everybody was bawling and they kept doing this sign. I didn't see them with my eyes, but I'm pretty sure they didn't make it out alive. Ambulance came, they offered to take me to the hospital. I said, no, just take me on to Jodhpur. And when I got on the next bus to pick me up, I was like shaking and I couldn't believe what, what just happened. So yeah, that was rough. I'm not telling you these stories to scare you away from traveling, but rather just to show you some real life situations that can happen to you at any time. I do not hate these countries or these people. It's all just part of the journey and it's gonna get more and more intense as the end is near. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.